This video explains the most important functions of Savina 300. It also explains how to prepare and to start operation of the device and moreover how to use and clean it. This video is divided into different sections which allow you to easily navigate. Further information of Savina 300 can be found in the interactive Savina 300 product trainer and on the Draeger website. You will see, Savina 300 is a ventilator that is simple and intuitive to use. Please note that this video does not replace an instruction by your Draeger contact. Moreover, the instructions for use of Savina 300 should be read carefully. In this chapter, you will see how to prepare Savina 300 for its use on the patient. Before the Savina 300 is connected to a patient, the device should be cleaned in accordance with the hospital hygiene regulations and the corresponding instructions for use. Savina 300 can be used for the ventilation of intubated patients in the application mode tube and for non-invasive ventilation in the application mode NIV. Prepare the expiratory valve. Check that the diaphragm fits properly onto the edge of the expiratory valve housing and that the flow sensor sleeve and the water trap container have been attached. Then insert the expiratory valve. After that, insert the flow sensor and push it up to the stop in the flow sensor sleeve of the expiratory valve. If no breathing gas humidifier is used, we recommend the use of an inspiratory bacterial filter, which has to be fitted onto the inspiratory port or an HME which you can put onto the Y piece. Hang the hinged arm on the lateral standard rail of Savina 300 and tighten the screws. Connect breathing hoses to the inspiratory port and to the expiratory port. Insert the breathing hoses in the opening of the hinged arm. Then the HME on the Y piece. And the test lung on the HME. If no HME is used, a breathing gas humidifier should be installed on the humidifier holder for breathing gas humidifier. The option CO2 offers the possibility of a CO2 mainstream measurement directly at the Y piece and delivers measuring data in real time. They are shown as a graphic and as numerical values on the screen of the ventilator. Insert the cuvette into the patient connector of the Y piece so that the cuvette windows are facing to the side. Afterwards, push the CO2 sensor onto the cuvette. The cable is facing towards the device. Insert the connector of the CO2 sensor into the socket on the rear of Savina 300. Savina 300 is supplied with mains power or with power from the internal or external battery. The external battery also serves as the power supply during patient transport. Insert the mains plug into the mains power socket. The LED lights up green. For ventilation, Savina 300 uses ambient air, which is supplied by an internal turbine. In the high-pressure oxygen mode, HPO, O2 supply is provided by a central gas supply system or by compressed gas cylinders. In the low-pressure oxygen mode, O2 supply is provided by an external low-pressure oxygen source, for example, O2 concentrator. For supplying from compressed gas cylinders, Savina 300 can be equipped with a transport supply unit or a cylinder holder. For O2 supply from a central gas supply system, connect the O2 compressed gas hose with the O2 connection of Savina 300. If a pneumatic nebulizer is used, connect the nebulizer to the inspiratory side of the Y piece and connect the inspiratory hose to the nebulizer. Place the nebulizer in the vertical position. Run the nebulizer hose back to Savina 300 along the inspiratory hose and fit it onto the nebulizer port. Before using the device on a patient, readiness for operation of Savina 300 is checked during the device check and the breathing circuit check. Only start ventilation once the device check has been successfully completed. The device check is quickly and easily performed. Savina 300 guides the user through the respective test step in the form of a question-answer dialogue. Turn on Savina 300 and subsequently press the Start Standby key. 
then touch the Device Check tab. There, Savina 300 displays the individual test steps in a list. Touch the Start button and confirm with the rotary knob. Answer the questions in the instruction field by touching the buttons Yes or No. After the device check was successful, perform a breathing circuit check. For the breathing circuit check, Savina 300 has to be in standby mode. You already selected the breathing circuit and the humidification type. Touch the breathing circuit check tab. Savina 300 displays the values of the last test. Touch the start button and confirm with the rotary knob. Now follow the instructions displayed in the instruction field. If CO2 monitoring is used, check the CO2 zero indication. The prerequisite for that is a clean CO2 sensor placed on the cuvette. Use a clean or a new cuvette. At least a three minute warm up phase for the CO2 sensor must have elapsed. Select the cuvette type and display CO2 measured values as a curve in the configuring curve field. Remove the CO2 sensor from the cuvette and hold in ambient air. Do not breathe on or into the cuvette. Savina 300 can be used for the ventilation of intubated patients in application mode tube and for non-invasive ventilation in application mode NIV. Open the Start Standby page while Savina 300 is in standby mode and touch the Tube or NIV button. Confirm with the rotary knob. In the NIV application mode, an NIV symbol is displayed in the header bar in an orange area. To start ventilation, press the Start Standby key. Savina 300 opens the Start Standby dialog window. The Start Standby page appears by default. Confirm start of ventilation with the rotary knob. Savina 300 starts the therapy with the set ventilation parameters. The main screen for ventilation is displayed. This chapter describes how to select ventilation modes and additional settings and how to set ventilation parameters and alarm limits. You have three options to open the Ventilation Settings dialog window to adapt the ventilation settings. Touch the Ventilation Settings button in the main menu bar. Touch the button in the Therapy bar. Or touch the displayed ventilation mode in the header bar. To select a ventilation mode, touch the tab for the corresponding ventilation mode. The color of the tab turns yellow. Preset the ventilation parameters if necessary. If the therapy control is displayed in dark green following confirmation with the rotary knob, the ventilation parameter setting is effective immediately, even if the new ventilation mode was not yet activated. To optimize ventilation, the ventilation modes can be combined with additional settings. To set additional settings of the active ventilation mode, touch the Additional Settings tab. Not all ventilation modes are selectable for the use of non-invasive ventilation in the NIV application mode. Leakages are greater with non-invasive ventilation than with invasive ventilation. Savina 300 takes into account the leakages in the NIV application mode accordingly. The inspiratory trigger is automatically adapted to the measured leakage. The measured values for tidal volume are leakage corrected and indicate the patient's actual tidal volume. To avoid any risk of hypoxia during endotracheal suction, Savina 300 offers a program for oxygen enrichment. During suction and for two minutes afterwards, the lower alarm limit for the minute volume is switched off. Press the O2 suction key. Savina 300 continues ventilating in the set ventilation mode at 100% O2. Within 180 seconds, Savina 300 expects a disconnection for suction. In the header bar, the initial oxygen enrichment phase is displayed with the remaining time. Disconnect the patient and perform the suction maneuver. 120 seconds are available for suctioning. In the header bar, the disconnection phase is displayed with the remaining time. Afterwards, reconnect the patient. Savina 300 continues ventilating in the set ventilation mode, except that for 120 seconds, 100% O2 is delivered for final oxygen enrichment. Press the Nebulization on-off key and Savina 300 starts nebulization. The nebulization time is 30 minutes. 
the symbol and the remaining time are displayed in the header bar. The Inspiration Hold maneuver can be activated in all ventilation modes. Between two automatically delivered breaths, a breath can be manually started and held, or regardless of the start time, an automatically delivered breath can be prolonged. To trigger manual inspiration, briefly press the Inspiration Hold key. To extend manual inspiration, press the Inspiration Hold key and hold for the desired inspiratory time. Savina 300 displays the following visual and acoustic alarm signals. First, the system displays the relevant alarm message in the alarm message field of the header bar. Second, the parameter field of the parameter triggering the alarm flashes. Third, in the alarms dialog window, the corresponding measured value flashes. Fourth, the high priority or medium priority alarm messages, the corresponding LED flashes on the control panel. The background color of the alarm message field indicates the priority of the active alarm. If several alarms occur simultaneously, the alarm with the highest priority is displayed first. High priority alarm messages that are no longer active are displayed in the background color of the alarm message field. The parameter box of the parameter triggering the alarm flashes in the color of the alarm priority. Red means warning and is an alarm with high priority. Yellow means caution and is an alarm with medium priority. Cyan means note and is an alarm with low priority. On the logbook page, the priority of the alarm messages is also indicated by exclamation marks. The alarm tone can be suppressed for a maximum of two minutes. If during this time a high priority alarm arises, the tone sequence sounds once. If the fault triggering the alarm is not eliminated after two minutes, the alarm tone sounds again. Press the audio pause two minutes key to suppress the alarm tone. After the fault has been eliminated, the alarm tone is silenced. High priority alarm messages continue to be displayed and need to be acknowledged. Therefore press the alarm reset key. There are two options to open the alarms dialog window. To set the alarm limit, touch the alarms button in the main menu bar or touch directly into the alarms dialog window. Touch the corresponding button for the alarm limit. Set the value by turning the rotary knob and press to confirm. Touch the button System Setup in the main menu bar to change the configuration. The settings Alarm, Volume and Brightness can be configured on the General Settings page. Touch for example the button for adjusting the volume of the alarm tone or the brightness of the screen. Set the value by turning the rotary knob and push to confirm. On the ventilation page, the ventilation functions Pressure Limitation, Inspiratory Pause, Time Plateau, Inspiratory Termination, and, if available, Low Pressure Oxygen LPO can be activated or deactivated. Touch the On or Off button and confirm with the rotary knob. You can configure a language, the date and time, and the units on the country page. Data exchange takes place via Medibus or Nurse Call. Savina 300 can be supplemented with a set of additional options. The additional ventilation modes PC BPAP, PC APRV, PC AC, and VC MMV. Autoflow, Pediatric Plus, Non Invasive Ventilation, LPO for a low pressure oxygen supply, Capnography, Monitoring Plus, and Special Maneuver. The transport supply unit has been designed for a fast coupling to the trolley of the ventilator. The transport supply unit supplies the Savina 300 with gas from one or two compressed gas cylinders. To couple the transport supply unit with the ventilator, lock all brakes on the trolley of the ventilator. Move the transport supply unit under the trolley. The guide pin must be pushed into the fixing plate. Tip up the transport supply unit until the coupling element of the transport supply unit audibly clicks into the coupling element of the trolley. Pull on the transport supply unit to check correct coupling. The locking button can no longer be operated when locked correctly. Release all locking brakes and move the ventilator by the handle. Caution! 
only start transporting patients when the batteries are sufficiently charged. If the batteries are not charged, Savina 300 cannot ventilate. Immediately connect the device to the mains power supply again following patient transport to ensure that the batteries are being charged. For transporting patients, the trolley of Savina 300 can be coupled on a bed. It is a prerequisite that the device side coupling part is attached to the trolley. Attach the bedside coupling part to the rail or to the bar at the head end of the bed and align the coupling connector horizontally. Then couple the device in the bed. For that, lock the casters on the bed. Bring the device side coupling part and the bedside coupling part to the same height. Adjust the height of the bed or reposition the device side coupling part on the trolley column for this purpose. Adjust the distance between the device and the bed. Press the release button for this purpose. Push the device towards the bed until the coupling connector engages audibly in the coupling head of the device side coupling part. To uncouple the device in the bed, press and hold the release button on the device side coupling part. Detach the device from the bed simultaneously. To decouple the transport supply unit, lock all brakes on the trolley of the ventilator. Hold the transport supply unit by the handle and move the locking lever to the left while pressing the locking button. Move the transport supply unit from under the trolley and park. This chapter describes how to disconnect the ventilation accessories, dismantle them for reprocessing, and which reprocessing methods can be used. Before you disconnect and dismantle the ventilation accessories, switch off the device and breathing gas humidifier and remove their power plugs. Drain the water traps and breathing hoses and the water container of the breathing gas humidifier. Observe the hospital hygiene regulations. Now remove the CO2 sensor. Please note that only reusable cuvettes and sensors can be reprocessed. The breathing hoses. The bacterial filter. The flow sensor. The expiratory valve. Pull the flow sensor sleeve from the expiratory valve and remove the diaphragm. Remove and empty the water trap container. If a medication nebulizer was used, dismantle it in accordance with the corresponding instructions for use and reprocess the components in accordance with the reprocessing list for semi-critical medical devices. Reprocess the breathing gas temperature sensor, the reusable CO2 sensor, the breathing hoses, the flow sensor, and the components of the expiratory valve in accordance with the reprocessing list for semi-critical medical devices. After cleaning and disinfecting, Always dry the expiratory valve by means of hot steam sterilization at 134 degrees Celsius or 273.2 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure that all remaining liquid is dried completely in the interior areas. Now wipe the surfaces with a clean, damp, lint-free cloth without using corrosive detergents. Wipe surfaces until they are free of all spots and dry them. Manual disinfection should preferably be carried out with disinfectants based on aldehydes or quaternary ammonia compounds. Please note that the concentration, temperature, and exposure times are different with every different disinfectant. Please consult the individual manufacturer's instructions for use. Make sure that only cleaned and disinfected reusable components are sterilized. The hot stream sterilization can be performed at 134 degrees Celsius or 273.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Observe instructions for use of device. To ensure the effectiveness of sterilization, a minimum sterilization time of 5 minutes is required. You should thoroughly inspect all items for damage and wear, for example cracking, embrittlement, or pronounced hardening, and residual soiling. Device malfunctions are possible due to wear and material fatigue of the components. To maintain the proper operation of all components, this device must undergo inspection and preventive maintenance at specified intervals. Please find the preventive maintenance intervals in the maintenance table. After completing all steps, Savina 300 is ready to be used on the next patient. It can be assembled and put in operation according to the chapters Preparation and Getting Started. We hope we've given you an interesting insight into the ingenious world of the Savina 300. You will find more information in our instructions for use and on our website. Please feel free to contact us directly.